Hey there everyone, it's Thackard, and welcome back to more of my modded hardcore playthrough of Subnautica. Hmm. So, we have been building up our base, gathering resources for it, constructing it. We've done that over the last couple of episodes. So I think it's about time we go and do something else for a little bit. Oh, uh, well. Is there anything we had to finish up before we left? I don't think so. I did do a couple of things inside, like complete some of the the uh, areas out there. Oh, there was one thing that I wanted to do before we finished. I want to do the, I want to do the grill bed. I want to get these grow beds set up. Welcome aboard, Captain. All right, um, I'm just going to toss a couple pieces of this in there. What is it to make a this guy to enamel glass and a titanium? I don't know if I can do that. Oh, yes, I can. It was titanium, wasn't it? All right, I want to make a little globey thing, and then we'll put the garden, the exterior garden outside that. I think it will look nice. After that, I think we'll go and I think the next thing was the 500 meter Degassi. Where would that be located at? I'm trying to remember. It's pretty deep. All right. I would like to put I could I would do it right here. Yeah. All right, and there we go. Now that works. All right. We're going to put Unless constructed with a specific research task in mind. Observatories and other glass modules are equipped for survival purposes. I disagree. Keeps you saying it. It's important. Hmm. You know what? Oh, I don't know. Maybe I can do it like one there and one further back. Put one to the, next to it? No. So I can only put one there. Hopefully it won't look too derpy once we have the... Uh... That's actually adding to the strength of the base? Interesting. Okay, exterior Throw beds. Farming alien plants is a proven survival strategy. Craig McGill survived 47 months on a healthy, raw salad of live tree roaches and stank root. Stank root and tree roaches. Hopefully we have better stuff than uh, that. Oh, that's terribly off, uh, off angle. Uh, 
And that's pretty close. This might not be perfect, but it should be close enough. Out of titanium. All right, that's gonna be close enough. Gonna have to grab some food here in a second, but we're pretty good to go. We're gonna need. We'll plant some blood oil. Old bush, and those are for inside. That's all the exterior stuff we have right now. And what, uh, what, three titanium or so? Should be enough to finish it off. A couple of these over here. Oh, I'll put them over here. Uh, I don't want you over there. I wanted you on the other side. I guess I can't position them like that. Oh, well. Um, old bush. And uh, this is this is oh the eye stock seed. There's one other that we have to plant, and that's the, uh... Over here? Yeah, there we go. Gel sack. That way we can start getting our arrow gel stuff up. We're gonna have, like, an entire rack of that stuff over here. Uh... Alright. Excellent. We're going to have to put a whole bunch more stuff in there, but the ideal is idea is that we're going to have a really nice view out this window. We'll maybe put a desk or something in here. Maybe just a bench just to look outside this window. That might be worth it. Okay. Let's get started. Is that our only thing to do right now? Um, done this one. Did that one. We did that one. Did that. We did that. Did the proposed Degassi outpost and it was there. We did that one so yes this is our this is the next one on our list so gonna head out really quick and uh Grab some of these Reginalds. Oh, that's salt. I also want to store a couple of Reginalds so I can kind of make like a. Uh, I don't know if I can do it with an aquarium or if I have to have one of those containment things.
We'll just have a source of food, you know? Hey. Vital signs stabilizing. That gave me even more than I thought it would. Probably not even going to get to eat that one. Guess I could start using these really nice batteries. Um, we're not going to need that. Hair tool, laser cutter, thermal blade, scanner, flashlight. We're going to be using the follow today. What do we have on the follow? Two storage and a depth module that gives me what is a depth. Is that just a one? That's not going to work. Is it? That's 300 meters. We have to go down to 500. Hopefully we have enough stuff to get this upgraded. Apparently not. Ultra glide fins. Could be able to make that. Repulsion cannon. Seamarth Mark II depth module. Two magnetite, a plasteel, and some enamel plates. We may have that. Is it two? Some enamel glass. Is it two enamel glass? Okay, here it is. One enamel glass, two magnetite. Hmm. Why not have any? gotten some rubies I don't see aluminum oxide anywhere oh no I used them for something I think so we'll have to go get a couple more of those before we can get to that depth all right unfortunate but we'll deal with it We shall deal with it. Gives us Mark Two. So, what does this give us in depth? not stack we can't do the mark three until we get some more rubies oh 500 meters that will get us down to where we need to go okay all right in that case we'll put you in there Bring an extra battery. Um, some food, some healing. You know what? Um, I 
we're gonna go we're gonna be going deep enough that I think I want to bring along some an extra power cell. That should be for a power cell. And we're gonna need some water as well. Some lubricants. And I seal. Alright, let's do this. There's our power cell. And we'll make two bleach here. So that will give us four water. We'll store a couple of things of water on the submarine itself for emergency supplies. And then we'll keep two on our own person. We haven't made the the water maker thing yet. I might just put that in this corner. Uh, I'm undecided. Batteries all look good. Well, as long as we're here, I'll, I'll show you in here. I did a little bit of decorating, not much. Just some light decorating. Um, I can look out of this window and be impressed. I haven't planted anything yet. Uh, this is where our... You know what? Hang on a second. Let's get these planted. Might as well get these planted right now. I think I'm going to put lantern trees back here. We will put the melon over here and the potatoes over here. Now, Sullivan made a suggestion that I use potatoes to feed the bioreactor, and I think I'm going to do with that, but we're going to use the seeds off the next one for that. And this is my sleeping area. I can look up at the water and the giant mushroom cap. The low res mushroom cap. Weird. Anyways. So extra power cell, extra battery. Two things of water, a spare food, some healing supplies. I think that's pretty solid for this trip. Um, we do have access for another upgrade. Do I want to make anything before we take off? Maybe some sonar? Hmm. All reinforcements. So that's a copper and two magnetite. We have the two magnetite, I think. I believe we have the copper wire. All right, so we have the two magnetites. We have enough copper. Yes, we do. Okay. The sonar is cool, so I'll go with that. Well, hang on. Let's um turn off the beacon for the subscribe, and then we'll turn on the beacon for the Twitch follow. Nope. We have to make we have to make it still. Welcome aboard, Captain. 
All right, let's do this. Welcome aboard Captain Systems Online. So we're headed that direction. We're already grown. It's a long way out there, isn't it? Five hundred meters down. Can't remember where this one's at. Oh, hang on, is it hmm? I wonder if this is the one where you have to go by the little, uh, they're like squiddy, crabby, crab squids or something funky. directly below us right now. I love that radar thing. Nope. No way down there. Jeez, that guy had a little girth in him. Holy cow. I've got a quarter of my health off my thing. Off my sea moth. That dude had some beef on him. I think we found our down. Oh, hang on a second. This is, oh, we, we've been out here before. Yeah, this is by the, that one uh, piece of wreckage. What, while I'm here, I'm going to grab more of these. Excellence. All right, so we already have gotten a couple of nice things. We have a couple more of these, uh, whatchamacallums. Arrow gel guys. All right, how are we getting deeper though? If I see something, I'm just going to scan it. This is what's going to happen. Okay. I wonder if this little passage will take us further down.
Hmm. Have I scanned you? Yes. A lot of quartz here. Gabe's feather. Wow, lots of quartz here. Was that a passage? Hang on a second. We gotta scan these ugly guys. Wow. Everybody's trying to eat something down here. Can I scan these guys? It's again a blood root. And we have to go this way. We're close, but not close enough yet. Oh, I guess maybe there's another way to get down there. Instead of going the completely opposite direction. Well, then again, that goes straight up. Um, hmm. might be some ruby in this area. This region does have rubies. Hang on a second, let's um... Ouch. How many did that give us? One, two, three, four. Ouch again. All right. This looks maybe like it's a little more promising. At least we're going in the right direction. We're not. Am I back in that same? I think I am. There has to be another passage over here somewhere. We're kind of going the right way now. Maybe. No, oh, damn it. We're back where we were before. Um. Hey, 
Maybe there's a different way in. Can I go this way and find a hole? To go down over here? Hang on a second, is this a cave? That's looking cave like. I want to stay away from the warper for a second. I think I can scan one of these guys. An anchor pod. You know what? I should be taking samples of some of these so I can plant them in my garden. Can I take a piece of anchor pod? No. Well, that's kind of a shame. on the sea treader path yeah but there they are they have the best bio stuff in the game I know that much picking up the poo yeah, they definitely do, like, uh, bring stuff to the surface. Alright. I didn't know we were at this over here. That's fascinating. Oh, yeah. Now, now we're going deep. This is, this is looking a little more. Vital signs stabilizing. This is looking a little bit better. Oh damn those guys. I was right. What are they called? Crab squids? I think those are crab squids. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. If I remember correctly, they're they're attracted to light? Nope. Detecting a titanium mass somewhere in this area. Unable to confirm whether it originated on the Aurora. Warpers having their fun over there. No! Damn it. Son of a bitch. Oh, we're in trouble, guys. We're in trouble. Jeez. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. All right. Um. I'm going to keep this guy on me. All 
All right. That's not what I wanted to do. That was a raw original. That's a cooked one. All right, so. I know that thing doesn't like my sea moth. Can't remember what, what attracts it though. Integrating new PDA data. I think it's white, I thought. That's the case, we'll... Integrate new PDA data. Keep our lights off for a minute. <gasps> Coffee machine! Acquired. And a coffee machine. Is there anything else we actually need other than a coffee machine? This isn't the entire thing, is it? How do we get in here up here? Oh. Oh, the alien containment thing. Nice. New blueprint acquired. Integrating new PDA data. Mm-hmm. Data. I don't need any of this stuff, do I? Creature egg. Is there anything else in here? When do I get those? Oh, jeez. Warpers just being super scary. Alright, I think that's all we needed, right? I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay. Oh, alright. So, this one's gone a little long today. We're gonna call it, actually... Okay. We got one more thing to do before we call it quits. We've forgotten to scan one thing. Mission accomplished. All right. That's where we're going to leave it for this episode, guys. Next time, we will try and extricate ourselves from this damn cave and head back to base with our uh, our goodies. So catch you, catch you then. I was certain I was going to die there. See you. Bye. Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. You guys are what makes this channel grow. 
So hit that notification bell and you'll be notified whenever I post something new or go live. And please always remember to bring it no matter what you do.